What up, fam? It's Savage. I'm back with this three-part, special three-part on this Saturday of the three directions we could go kind of on the macro outlook. We'll just talk about for the next month or two. It's the weekly time frame we're mostly looking at. We'll look at the five-day, looking at a few other time frames on each video. But fam, we're going to talk about the down direction specifically on this video let's get right to it by the way if you don't have an exchange or you need a new exchange because some of those exchanges out there have some issues go hit that go hit that bing x referral link in my profile fam uh mad love you get a hundred bucks just for signing up literally just for signing up so let's get to it fam all right we're gonna do the down part fam let's talk about the down part right here first off we're gonna talk about the rsi all right rsi is oh what is it's brutal okay and we got this really clean kind of trend line right here uh you can draw two whatever you want to call it you know what let's just draw the one let's just draw it like again this is the one one to two month outlook so we really only care about these three very clean look <clears throat> there on on the rsi uh potentially could get a breakout here but we are under that resistance okay we continue, we could tap here and continue to go lower. So plenty of room to go low. They've made some room now to go low. Uh, the weekly candle. All right. Kind of looks like an inverse hammer. All right. That's kind of an up uh, signal, but it doesn't look like the greatest, <clears throat> in my opinion. In fact, I go over here to the five day and make the argument that the five day, the previous five day, all right does not look very good either all right it's underneath resistance this could be easily be accumulation down here but i will say this tap down here and then a move lower would not surprise me one bit all right we we tapped under here they are holding the price well and that like i said that weekly five day has a, a little bit of that inverse hammer but you go over here to the daily and things do not look good we don't have we haven't had a, a, a pop yet Sarcastic's a little bit bottomed out. Uh, the daily RSI curling over. So there's a lot of reasons to still be looking down, I think. Uh, another thing I was looking at was uh, obviously Bitcoin dominance right here, okay? Uh, Bitcoin dominance, right? When it bounces, that's usually when Bitcoin tends to drop a little bit initially. Uh, it's mostly the sideways argument though, Bitcoin dominance. So I don't want to talk about that too much on this video. Uh, but basically, I, I, I could argue just the legacies right now, fam, don't look that good. Go over here to the monthly. Uh, over here to the monthly. Clean up this chart. All right. That last monthly candle, last Bitcoin monthly candle, if the lows are taken out here, we're definitely going lower. A lot of it just depends on the on the stock market, and so I have to use the legacy markets as a uh, because Bitcoin's never ever been in a recession. I have to use legacy legacy markets as an argument, and it's a very strong argument. We could easily be going down right now as a slow bleed, slow selling. Uh, right now, it's obviously the weekend, but the legacy markets is kind of the true tale, in my opinion, the true biggest argument. Uh, inflation so high uh we've never seen this inflation this high ever bitcoin's really being t tested right now as we speak for an inflation hedge it does not look like it fam and one of the arguments i have just in 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 that note and i will go, i will talk about it this video i don't mind talking about it it's 24 percent down in the s p all right nasdaq's even less right so we're talking we're, we're just talking about top to bottom excuse me 34 percent it's more uh uh s p right now on this day is 18 percent nasdaq excuse me is less right uh 16 uh, percent so uh, pretty you know pretty close s p nasdaq but at nasdaq s p right 16 18 percent what is bitcoin on this day here in time on this video talking about bottom uh, uh, top to bottom 74 percent speculative assets fam uh, and then, and then top to the current price is 71% speculative assets, fam, risk, high risk assets. And that's what the Bitcoin still is 10 to drop early and before and front run uh, recessions, fam. 
So I think it's important to understand that we have the the, the S&P, the NASDAQ uh, holding up way better than Bitcoin right now in an inflation time. And equities, fam, for the last 50, over 50 years has been the greatest hedge versus inflation. Unfortunately, it does not look like Bitcoin is. And so because Bitcoin's showing its true colors as we're going into recession, I'm, but the biggest argument that we're going down, the down argument on this video, fam, is the legacy markets, right? When the legacy markets go down, we're gonna be going down. Here's the Bitcoin monthly. If you haven't checked it out, the S&P monthly, even looks more bull i mean looks better i mean like, look at these pullbacks but i mean come on this is crazy this is crazy talk right now so so unfortunately bitcoin showing itself as a high risk asset we could easily be going down right now on this weekly like i said it looks really bad they're holding the price up here but again um uh under that five day resistance don't have the greatest looking candle right here they do have a higher low that's more of the up argument um that this higher low is definitely more of an up argument but fam it just it, it doesn't look that great i don't have the volatility indicator on here volatility doesn't that look that great on this weekly either all right stochastic is below that 20.9 plenty of room to move down look at this plenty of room to move down um and, and continue down i mean we're literally so oversold it doesn't matter it, it doesn't doesn't even matter it, things like this don't really matter in a recession when we could just literally see some some big news event that's that sends us down so that's mostly the the down argument i am paying attention i i am definitely heavier on this side uh the down the down argument but minimal down argument i actually only think we're going to go down to the 18.5 all right and i don't think the move is necessarily up from here I do think we're going to go to 18.5. That should give us a nice spring back to that distribution zone over here. Maybe a little bit higher. Finally reach this area. Regardless, uh, down this down argument down next week is really up to just the legacy markets at this point. They did not look good. If you didn't check the S&P, how it closed last week, it did not close good. This is a continuation candle down. There's no bounce right now. There's no trend line it's holding. Uh, obviously, we could tap a little bit lower. This is kind of the area of interest, but there's no sign of a reversal right now in the last three weeks on the S&P, in my opinion. Uh, well, maybe next week, maybe next week. But again, this is the down argument, fam. I appreciate you. Go follow me on Twitch, at Savage Charts. Hit that sub right there uh, uh, next to the video, fam. Go sign up on Bing X, get a free hundred bucks. Uh, mad love, appreciate all you. Make sure to watch all three parts of this of this video series. The first one was up, the up scenario, up from this week. This week, talking about soon, we're we're going up. Um, I did talk a lot about that's kind of my opinion. The eighteen point five is the up, but the down right now doesn't look good. You look at this hard rejection on the ADX DI. Look at that hard rejection right there. We're going, we're still, the trend is still, this is the weekly trend is still down. Uh, unfortunately, well, this is the S and P, excuse me. Wow. That was, that's crazy. Uh, Bitcoin it still hasn't had that type of rejection. There it is. There's the rejection right there. Um, uh, back in March 21st could have shorted that. And then now we have a lot of space. Uh, also the money needs a reset. Money hasn't reset. That's what the white line is, right? You want to see this white line on the ADX DI down here. For the bigger move up as well as the blue crossing the red all right so these are the down arguments again really up to the legacy markets um uh you know show some love hit up a comment tell me if i was too quick too slow too unorganized uh whatever it is please i, I i'm always looking for for feedback fam mad love appreciate you and go watch the next video last video of this series sideways where we were mostly going to talk about bitcoin dominance and the sideways action to come biggest argument i actually have all right